My first bar crush was Thomas Robinson because he followed me on Instagram over the summer and I thought it was cute. Mine was Ferris Smith. <laughs> Emily Moody. Jake Mantagna. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Kolioko. Mine was uh, Maggie Williard when I saw her for preseason. Uh, Kolioko called Rachel Davis and I called dibs on Maggie Williard. Rachel Davi Davis. Patrick Reardon. My first player crush was Kaylee Tierney, who dated for about a week at the start of freshman year. Well, my first player crush was Emily. She's my girlfriend now, so. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> Olivia Cruz. I saw her on moving day. Move on day. <laughs> moving day. She smiled at me, and we haven't talked since. Mine was Mia Abramidas. <laughs> probably Mia Abramidas. Uh, Mia. I'd say probably Mia Abramidas. I liked her for about two weeks, and then at the Petty Day bonfire, Zocha stood next to her, and I got really <laughs> salty. Grace Rayer. Uh, John Benedetto and current Blair crush, John Bellhoff. Yeah. Bryce Comtech. <laughs> Jake Mantegna, because he was really good. You know you need to uh, get yourself the to wheel. sleep. The dream of you and I. There's no need to keep an open eye. I promise I'm the one for you. Just let me hold you in the arms tonight. I'm lucky to be me. You can see it in my face. Back when too many times, why would I let myself get down in the foot? My favorite memory of Blair has been all the conversations that I've had, just different interactions with people. It's been a lot, and every time I've danced with Madison that dances, I'm gonna miss that. My favorite Blair memory was freshman year during JV Gems when we lost every single game and then we won our last one at home. On the way back from one of the away games of a JV Gems game, we all were like, screeching the lyrics to Fergalicious, and I was like, yep, these are my people. <laughs> Mine was probably when we made a water slide in the locker room. We all threw down like soap and then just poured water all over it and kept sliding across it. And then the next day we got kicked out of the locker room. I don't think it was just one specific memory. I think it's like, it's just like the little thing. Waking up Henry Myers in the middle of the night in Freeman and scaring the living, the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite memory was during the Blair snowstorm last year when all the power was out and Freeman was stuck in the dorm. Freeman anarchy last year. We all had to fight for food and it was just like the Hunger Games and it was amazing. Chairs were flying. And Freeman got in an all-out war with Mason. Mason got their power pulled. Then people started wrestling. It's a good time. Madison! Madison! We're vlogging here. Vlog So one time I was in the gym and there was someone in there and then we got the text for a lockdown and it was Miss O'Neill and I did not know that she was a teacher. I thought she was a student and she asked me and she was like, what do you think we should do? And I just said, uh, like, oh, if a teacher comes by, like, whatever, we'll just lie to them and say that we didn't know, like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> And I did not know that she was a teacher. And then the next day I saw her talking to Mr. Maza and he called him Carm. So I kind of like freaked out and I figured out that she was a teacher. Slipping in class, but it's not really embarrassing. Cause like... What class? Oh my God. Math, architecture. <laughs> For me it's like English class, physics class, econ class, math class. <laughs> <laughs> I think like most of the class I have. Matt threw a snowball at me and then I was angry. So then I picked up a rock and I was gonna throw it at him. But then he ran into the CIC, so I just threw the rock at the CIC instead. And then Mr. Goggins saw me and he was like, What are you doing? And I said, I, I got angry, so I threw a rock. And he was like, Oh. And then he looked really like scared and he said, Don't do that. This was in front of Neek and, and like three other people walking next to him. I had a mosquito bite right on my butt and I lifted my shorts to itch my mosquito bite and I looked behind me and 
and everyone was laughing at me. And then they denied the fact that they saw it, even though I saw them see it. I was in class last year. I was in AP Lit with Mr. Peruda. And it was, I had been like a really boring class. I was daydreaming all class. I just so happened to be thinking about my boyfriend. And then um, class ended and I uh, got up to say goodbye to Mr. Peruda. And instead of saying, thank you, Mr. Peruda, I said, thank you, baby, and walked out of the classroom. <laughs> Everyone heard me, like it was not quiet, but you know, I just kept it going. I just left. <laughs> Anything you want to admit or confess? Sophomore year, uh, uh, for the day of service, Olivia and I went down to Dale's and we bought eggs and we were gonna like cook them or something. We started like getting into an egg fight and I guess we were leaving them a little bit on campus. We dropped them all like at the arch and then we started throwing them at the arch. They might have also been thrown at the arch. And then Mazza like walked past and he was like, do you guys know who like threw these eggs? Apparently Mazza was going around that day asking a lot of people who was throwing eggs. And we were like, no. We didn't mean to egg the arch, but it just kind of happened. <laughs> we were on the bus back from some field hockey game, and I I just took a random picture of my foot. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna just airdrop it to a bunch of random people. Well, Sasa's iPhone is Sarah O'Neill. Every time they uh, serve jasmine rice at the dining hall, you know, they have like the little signs that say jasmine rice. So, um, I don't feel it. I get them gifted to me every time they, they have jasmine rice. I come back to my table and these are just sitting at my seat. <laughs> so like, I have a bunch of these thingies. Um, I don't know if it's theft. It's also these that have jasmine rice on them. So there's a lot of them. <laughs> and she's a lot more at home. I have more at home. Sophomore year, orchestra, um, before right before a concert, I was playing with someone's instrument and I dropped it and broke it and I didn't say anything so I just put it back and Miss Pagato came over and was trying to fix it and she was like oh my god who did this and I didn't say anything so I'm really sorry. Every visit day this year I put about <laughs> five Blair stickers on Mr. Fortunato's back. Sirika and I like we brought like no smoke incense, and we try to put it in our rooms. <laughs> but then we put it out, we put it out. <laughs> For all the JV Gems games, I would drink an energy drink right before, <laughs> so that I would purposely have a heart palpitation, so I had an extra adrenaline boost. So the lock prefects every year, praying Fortunato's office, Drink. the night before the Friday of Petty Week. And this year we did like Chris's fifth, sixth, Birth sixth birthday, or whatever, like however many years he's been at Blair. And we replaced all the photos on his wall with like kid posters or like My Little Pony. We like taped it over it. We had to take the photos down because there are these like ancient photos. So we flip one over and on the back of this photo, there's this envelope, like this really old envelope. And inside of it is, I don't even- It like, like looks like it's so old that like the ink looks like it was written with like a quill and ink. But like there was also this money in it. And it was like literally looked like a deed of them buying something. It looked really <laughs> stretchy. And then all the prefects were like, oh we my god, oh my other. god. You know, Miss Conforti always does that thing where she's like, you can always come to my house uninvited. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, nobody ever does that. And then one time over the summer, I was here for the alumni thing, and the people that were volunteering don't get lunch. So I like went to Miss Conforti's house to see if she was there so I could eat lunch with her. And she wasn't, but she told me she was. So I walked into her kitchen, <laughs> and Mr. Browse came down and was like, Howdy! And I was like, oh my god. So I was like super awkward, but then he gave me six books to read and was like, let's make yogurt bowls together. And then like five other people came in and I was like, make you okay. Okay. <laughs> Faculty 
remember you want to thank? Wagner, just thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I met him freshman year and I basically thought he was like a small child. <laughs> um, thought. And he was like really funny and like always a great teacher and kind of a mentor to me. Wagner. Yeah, my person's Wagner. I'd like to thank Mr. Wagner for just like kind of being there. Uh, Mr. Wagner. So like our relation started off as like him being my weightlifting coach, and then he became my baseball coach, and then he became my advisor, and then he became my housemaster, and then he became my um, smash varsity coach. Um, so like I really want to thank him because he's really helped me in my journey through Blair. I actually like to think of myself, well he and I like to think of ourselves as an adoptive family. He's the dad and I'm the son and Miss Hall is the mom. This is Williams. She really helped me make my college decision. People were telling me to go to different places and she told me to go exactly where my heart wanted me to go. I just want to thank her for that. Lois? Yeah, yeah. Lois, Miss Duvall, she's she keeps it real, you know, and she takes care of her girls and all her day students and everybody. Whoa, whoa, love you. 100% <laughs> Kelly Haddon. She's my second mom, and I think she's like so underrated here. She's like gives the best advice, and then she she's like so funny too. She has these cute mom jokes all the time that she just laughs at, and it's so funny to watch her. Um, to the love of my life, Miss Doldorian. <laughs> You are the reason I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Definitely want to shout out Miss D. Okay. Miss D is the biggest sweetheart in the entire world. Miss D. Yeah, we would like to thank Miss D. Hey, Miss D. Too. Oh, oh I yeah, agree Miss with that. D. She's literally the greatest yeah. human ever. If you don't know her, don't take one of her classes. Get to know her. I, I used to watch a lot of these, and everyone was like, Miss D. Miss D is the best. And I was like, how truly great can she be? And she's honestly like my favorite person ever and she's just so loving and like she she honestly loves all of her students. Um, Mrs. Sykes, she's been my advisor for three years and she was ultimately the person who helped me decide I went to college. Coach P, the man. Shout out to my boy Tom Peruda. <laughs> uh, I'd say Coach P probably, Miss Peruda. He's just like, when you, when you talk to him, it's just like you're not talking to a teacher really, it's more of a friend. Mr. Patton for being the best three-year advisor ever and then also, Mr. Mantegna for being my second dad. Obviously appreciate Coach Mantegna. Four-year advisor, Mr. Mantegna, Joe Mantegna. The Mantegnas, without a doubt. Um, they're like my parents, away from my parents, and I just love them with all my heart. Um, I want to thank Mr. Manny. I've lived with him for two years, and he just like is awesome. He embraces who I am. Mine's Miss Conforti. I have <laughs> so many stories in Miss Conforti, but like, <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> just like my mom, coach, mentor, everything here, and um, yeah, I don't think I would have had as much fun without her. Miss Tillman, shout out to Miss Tillman. She's like my mom away from home. Mr. Fodge, um, sometimes I'll just tell Mr. Beck about this cool new place that I found in Hackistown to go eat, or it could be 40 minutes away, and he'll just take me and buy me dinner. Uh, I want to thank Miss Acker just because, like, I just felt really open to like coming to her whenever I had a problem. Like the shout out to Mr. Fosh for being a really good advisor, uh, being the chillest teacher I have. Um, yeah.
You ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Hello, seniors. Congratulations on making it to graduation. We're all really, really, really proud of you. Congratulations to the class of 2019, especially my three advisees and my son, Jake. I wish you guys all success and happiness going forward. Shout out to SEC. It was my first year doing SEC and that group is uh, amazingly gets nothing done and everything done all at the same time. Thank you to everyone I've ever taught or coached or lived in the dorm with. I just got to know who just made my heart feel so full. I'm really proud of you all and I'm psyched that you're giving a scholarship to a student to have a Blair education, which I think is phenomenal. And my art friends, you are my heart. I will miss you. I've been so proud of you all this time, <laughs> and I hope you come back and show me all the great things that you've done. I'm gonna miss you guys uh, tremendously. Uh, if you ever need anything or ever need a fluffy dog, you know where to find him at Maximus underscore the underscore dog eater. Say goodbye to all those students I had and people who were in plays and advisees and to the whole class. Promise me you'll never marry somebody who went to Petty. So congratulations seniors uh, and have a wonderful time beyond Blair. Wish you all the best in the future. Go Bucks. Good luck next year. Go Bucks forever. Work hard. Don't ever give up. Most importantly, have fun. You will forever, ever be in my heart. Thank you.